SAG-AFTRA strike is still paralyzing Hollywood productions. The union and the AMPTP have entered another round of negotiations to end the walkout that began July 12th. And those talks continue today, but are we any closer to a deal? We're joined live in studio by Michael Schneider from Variety with the very latest. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Good to be here. So are we any closer to a deal? What can you tell us about the talks happening today? Well, the good news is the talks are continuing. And in this age, <laughs> just the fact that they're talking is a good thing. The fact that they announced that not only did they talk on Friday, but they would come back on Monday and continue those conversations. That's at least something. And there's a lot of optimism out there. There's a lot of feeling that at least, you know, they're, they're still far apart, but they're getting closer and conversations are ongoing. So there's reason to be optimistic. We're still all hopeful that maybe they'll come to a resolution sometime soon. Yeah. And we've been talking about the sticking points initially, uh, all of the things that we've been reporting on for weeks now. Yeah. But what, what do we know about what the remaining sticking points are? Yeah, I mean, the three points that we've been talking about for a while, of course, is AI, the impact of artificial intelligence and what that means for the future of acting. Uh, and then there's also streaming residuals, the concerns that uh, that the, uh, the how people now watch television, that the compensation is not kept at pace with mm -hmm. that. But the other big uh, issue, and the one that probably is the, the bigger sticking point right now, is uh, minimum pay. And, uh, you know, with, with the, the rate of inflation over the past couple of years, uh, minimum pay hasn't kept up to that, and they're looking for big double-digit increases in minimum pay, and I think that's what the haggling may be right now. And why do we think maybe this week could be the week? There is a lot of motivation to get a deal done. You know, they've been talking now for a while, uh, so so there's a hope that because they're continuing to talk, that of course they may be getting closer to a deal. Uh, the writers, of course, are back to work, so they're starting to churn out those scripts with the hope that maybe eventually, when SAG-AFTRA strikes a new deal with the AMPTP, that then cameras can start rolling again. And there's just this real feeling that uh, you know, there, there's real momentum and the hope that maybe within the next couple of weeks, maybe next week or so that there may be some sort of resolution. Again, that's just the hope, and I think there's a lot of optimism out there on the, on the, the picket lines as well. What do we know about uh, the new season of television coming up, and if there's a deadline for that, and if that's playing into the negotiations right now? Uh, that the definitely could be an element of that. Uh, you know, the hope is that maybe cameras start rolling again by the end of October. And if that's the case, then when you think about three months out, that's January. And so that's the second half of the traditional broadcast TV season. So if cameras start rolling by the end of the month, you could get some of your favorite shows, the procedural dramas, the NCISs of the world back on the air by January, by mid-January. And then at least you have half a season. You have maybe 13 to 15 episodes of a season as opposed to the normal 22. Uh, and, and you'll have some of your shows back. So that's the hope. And if, let's say, the union gets everything it wants in some magical world, right, how would that uh, affect our viewing habits? What would that mean for all of us as viewers? Well, I think it just means that people will be back to work sooner rather than later and that you'll have shows coming back on the air after that. Uh, I think it has a big impact on this industry. It also has an impact on other guilds that uh, are about to start negotiating their own contracts, uh, IATSE, of course, now next year. Uh, so it, all eyes now are on what SAG-AFTRA can, can get from the MPTP. Yeah, okay. Well, let's hope for a resolution sooner rather than later. Thanks so much for being here. Absolutely. Really appreciate having you. James